David joined this club in September 2012, about 16 months now. He has his Competent Communication Award. He's given 13 speeches. Some of them included gratitude, how he has improved his vision, how to do a home inventory, and how to accept graying hair gracefully. <laughs> David meets every club assignment professionally. He is well prepared. He has given jokes in the past on baseball in heaven. <laughs> baseball in heaven. Rabbis, a rabbi making the sign of a cross. And he did those both without notes, as we're supposed to do as joke masters. And here to give us one more joke, please help me welcome David Schiff. We have an introduction of our evaluation team. Now, Jim joined this club in June 2007. He has his advanced communicator bronze and his competent leadership. He's given speeches in the past on such things as fate, hope, and love, strength and character, tyranny of the urgent, and most recently, spiritual warfare. Jim is one of our most reliable, dependable members for filling in roles, for being here prepared to do his own role, and to step up on any other role that someone has, for some reason, at the last minute abandoned. He's always ready with a joke if the joke master doesn't have one. And today, he is going to show us who our evaluation team members are. Please help me welcome Jim Morgan. Instead, prepared introductions. Now, Arlinda and I joined this Toastmaster Club in March 1997. Since then, I've served this club and others in many different capacities in order to achieve the Toastmaster rank of Distinguished Toastmaster, or DTM. One must give a minimum of 46 prepared speeches and serve the club as well as district in a variety of roles. I have repeated all the steps and achieved this DTM rank four times, and I'm now continuing on the fifth. Why? Because if you do something again and again, you tend to get better and better at it. Isn't getting better why we're all here? Yes. <laughs> Today, instead of giving a single prepared speech, I will give a series of prepared introductions to help the speakers and presenters do their best while encouraging you, the audience, to listen with attention and anticipation. My project is entitled Meet Your Club Members. And therefore, I will not now give a prepared speech. Instead, I will give the introduction of our next. Pam is our next speaker. She came to this club already having her competent communication that she gained through another club with whom, with which, with whom, with what? She which. <laughs> continues <laughs> to be a member. And that falls on what I just said, that if we practice things over and over again, we get better and better. And Pam has decided that getting in one prepared speech every four to five weeks isn't enough. So she added our club to her roster of clubs. And I think there is some effort here at getting out from under Tevis's shadow. She wants to be known for who she is, not just that she's Tevis's wife. And I don't know. Tevis is, well. Tevis is a pretty tall you know, guy. Yes, he is. Yeah, big shadow. <laughs> she has given us speeches on her baby sister, on her guardian angel, mm. and she most recently read an Uncle Remus passage to us. She is always prepared for her club role. Her prepared introduction, if I want to lose weight, I have to want to. If I want to stop smoking, I have to want to. If I want to be healthy, I have to want to. Changing habits is easy, right? 
Wrong. <laughs> Please welcome Pam Thompson. One small change can build healthy habits. One small change can build healthy habits. Pam Thompson. <laughs> Conda joined this club in 2003, March of 2003. He has gone through the competent communication manual three times and is working on a sport one now. But he has also done some advanced manuals, enough, at least four of them, so that he has achieved his advanced communicator silver in addition to his competent leadership. In addition to manual speeches, he has competed in our humorous speech contests, our evaluation contests, and we even had a debate a few years ago, and he participated in that. Some of his very entertaining speeches included his trips hitchhiking throughout Europe, his love bug adventures. He's told us a couple of times about his hobby of making beer. And for his humor speech contest speech, he told us why California should be divided into seven states. <laughs> Six, 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 six. Six. Keep going. All right. <laughs> Four <Seven> states. <laughs> Who cannot tally them because he's got to come up here. <laughs> now, I had a nice introduction prepared for James. I did not, I was not able to prepare one in advance for Gary. So, by the word, but very day, quickly, because we are short on time here. Yes, yeah, don't worry. Six minutes. Just enough time to call on a couple of people who have no other significant speaking role. Gary is our president. He is doing a great job of leading this club. He has been with us since 20, 2011, I think it was. Joined January 11, 12, 13. Yeah, February 2011. And he has done a great job. Thank you, Gary. All right.